Can you use a kitty litter bucket to store your food for long-term storage? Hey, Provident Preppers, this is Jonathan. And I'm Kylene. And today, this video is for Doug in Pennsylvania. He wanted to know if it was okay to store food inside of a kitty litter bucket, a used thing. And you know, we're all into repurposing whenever we can because yeah. we like to make the best use of our resources. Um, and actually, Doug even sent me some pictures. This is what he did with his food storage, and it's a great idea. So the problem with kitty litter buckets is that, first of all, the bucket is not food grade, right? and it's held something that wasn't food in it before. And so those are the two main factors that determine whether or not you could actually pour your dry beans or your rice directly into the bucket. Um, and so for all of these buckets, that's not the case. With the Home Depot bucket, or the Lowe's bucket, excuse me, um, it's not food grade. And so we don't want to pour our grain directly in contact with it. Correct. But there's an easy solution. Absolutely. Things like Mylar bags, other packaging. If you can put it inside one of these, inside another package so there's no um, touching it. You can see here we've got this full of Mylar bags. Great solution. Inexpensive solution. It helps us stretch our dollars and get more done. One important tip when it comes to storing Mylar bags inside of any size bucket, um, well, first of all, you're going to make sure it's clean, right? I should have said that. You're going to make sure it's clean Thoroughly. and dry and dry. But these were packaged a few months ago, and you can see they are, it's like rock hard. But when you first package them and put the oxygen absorber in and you seal it, they're nice and soft. So if while they're still soft, you put them in the bucket, um, it's easier to be able to like arrange them and not waste any space in there because they're still soft and pliable. And then they get hard and then that's okay because they all okay. fit in there like a really nice puzzle. There's a few things that the bucket provides you. So you might say, well, why use the bucket at all? Because this, this bag alone is doing a good job. And there are some really good reasons. First of all, um, most of your food storage packaging, including the Mylar, is very susceptible to rodents and they can make quick work of your food storage. So we don't want that. Because it's in these buckets, it's easier to organize or to transport. It protects them from light and moisture and just overall extends the shelf life of your food storage. Now, let me show you something. Brown sugar is actually a short term storage item, right? This is not something you should store for 30 years. But uh, how I do it is I store this in the original packaging inside of a bucket with the lid on it and that helps to protect it. Now, these packages right here, I pulled out of a different bucket. It actually was food grade and it had a gamma seal lid on it. But um, the gamma seal lid I like because I can just open it anytime and take out a bag. But look, this was best if used by 2019 and it's still super soft and ready to go. And quite frankly, I have some that have been in my food storage for 10 years and the brown sugar is still soft. That's not optimal. You want to be able to rotate it. But um, in answer to the question of, can you make a good use of this resource? Absolutely. So I would store anything that was already in a package in here. So if you have pasta, that just the packages of pasta, that's something that I like to store in a bucket. Um, the other thing that you could do is actually take one of the five gallon um, Mylar bags, put it in here and then dump the food in and seal it up because then it's never, it doesn't come in contact with the edges. Wallaby um, makes some fantastic five gallon Mylar bags. I really like them and they come in this kit with the oxygen absorber. So it's just really nice. And the oxygen absorbers in their five gallon bag um, kit, they're all individually wrapped, so you don't have to worry about your oxygen absorbers having set up too long. Um, the other thing that's nice about using a Mylar bag liner is that these lids aren't necessarily airtight, depending on which ones you're using. This certainly isn't anymore, right? Um, and so the Mylar takes care of that problem. So this is a fantastic idea. Thank you for bringing it up, Doug. And tell me, 
What secrets or tips are you using where you can recycle something that would have been thrown away and use it for a higher and better purpose? We like this. <laughs> Comment below and thanks for being part of the solution.